My name is Jamie Scott and I'm the Managing Director of Man McGowan. Since the business started back in 1975, the name Man McGowan has been at the forefront of investment technology, manufacturing industry-leading fire, smoke and acoustic seals. Our products are supplied and installed globally, protecting people and property all over the world. They're used in hospitals, schools and colleges, high-rise apartments, as well as heritage and historical buildings and luxury hotels. They may not be visible, but our intermescence and sealing solutions are some of the most important components of a fire door. We like to think of them as the unseen hero, providing life-saving performance and the preservation of property. Although the company is over 40 years old, our commitment to our customers and our industry increases year on year. With continuous investment in new equipment, production techniques, product testing and enhanced third-party certification. In the last 12 months, we haven't stood still and instead use the time to develop our product portfolio by adding intermescent air transfer grills, smoke and acoustic threshold seals and perimeter seals to our warrant and fire certifier scheme, meaning we can offer a fully tested and certified sealing solution for all aspects of a fire, smoke and acoustic rated door assembly. Our manufacturing facilities in Hampshire and Devon produce tens of thousands of units a week, not only to fulfill customer orders, but also to stock our shelves meaning we can dispatch product for next day delivery. We have the capability to design and manufacture products for all our applications, offer technical support, fire test planning and bespoke product development. We are pleased to announce we can offer indicative fire testing and a small scale furnace to assist research and development. In other words, a one stop shop for all your requirements. Mamagam prides itself on being a licensed converter and distributor of payasol and interdens material from the Volmans Group in Germany. However, to support these products and the ever-changing industry requirements, we formulated our own range of high-performance intumescence that provides the core to many of our products. The graphite formulation, known as 500 material, was developed by my father, Alistair Scott, a chemist by trade and previous owner and MD of Man McGowan. A range of graphite products along with Paisal and Interdens products are batch tested and inspected to comply with our quality control procedures and policies in line with ISO 9001-2015. In recent times there has been high profile disasters that have changed the way our industry operates. At Man McGowan we have always believed there should be no concession on price and quality when it comes to people's lives. We stand by our products and our reputation within the fire industry. To this extent, our fire, smoke and acoustic products are tested by third parties and in most cases our products go beyond the level required. At Man McGowan, we have a wealth of knowledge built up from hands-on experience across the industry. Our team are here to provide you with technical support, advice on product selection and installation and supply any documentation or supporting literature that you need. Equally, our sales and administration team will ensure your orders are processed efficiently and dispatched to meet your expectations wherever you are in the world. Whether you're thinking about fire resistance, noise reduction or environmental protection, at Man McGowan you're guaranteed we have a solution. I'm now going to introduce you to Russell Smith and Dave Bolton, our technical team here at Man McGowan, who will talk about products on our typical fire example, which covers all the intermescent protection you are likely to need. The Man McGowan range of hardware protection kits include Pyro Hinge, Pyro Closer and Pyro Lock. These are manufactured from interdense mono ammonium phosphate material and precision cut on CNC machines to suit any hinge, lock or door closer detail. The requirement for iron mercury protection kits will form part of the fire test evidence of either the hardware or the door set manufacturer. They will be key to maintaining the integrity of the door in a fire situation. It is imperative that the correct material, material thickness and kit design is used to ensure compliance as incorrect specification could have a detrimental effect on the fire door integrity. Glazed apertures are an important part of a building offering natural light and of course vision through doors and walls. Man McGowan offer a large range of glazing seals to cover such applications. 
Pyroglaze 30, 60 and 90 are glazing systems consisting of a high performance graphite encapsulated in a PVC sleeve, which are then sandwiched between the glazing beads and glass. These systems give multiple colour options and provide a clean, dry glaze system. Other intumescent options available include non-pressure generating Pyrostrip 300 and interdens materials. We have a range of various glazing tapes including Pyrotape, which is a compressible tape supplied with an open adhesive, so saves the fiddly job of removing the backing paper. This can be supplied in either black or white. Closed cell foam tapes can also be supplied where test evidence allows. Finally, Pyroglaze Channel is a U-shaped rubberized black gasket for 30 minute applications. With all glazing applications, B profile, density and fixing details are all crucial to product performance. Pyromass A is an acrylic based intumescent sealant that is used in various applications offering up to 4 hours fire integrity. It is solvent free and in a fire situation forms a safe inorganic seal. Available in white, brown or grey, it is the ideal solution for the permanent sealing of low movement joints such as partitions, dry lining and also back of fire door frame applications. Pyromass A offers a slump free seal for gaps up to 35mm in width between substrates such as concrete, timber and metal and also offers an acoustic rating of up to 52 dB. It can be smoothed to a good surface finish and is available in 310ml cartridges and 600ml foils which are compatible with standard guns. Pyromass A can be overpainted once cured. Where there is a need for air transfer through a fire door, the integrity of the door must be maintained. Pyrogrill fire rated air transfer grills that are manufactured from paleosol hydrated sodium silicate or graphite 500 material offer the solution. Slim in design, they allow ease of installation and can be supplied with decorative cover grills of various designs. Fire test evidence of size and location must be considered to meet the requirements of the application, for example, low or high level. Fire door test evidence should also be reviewed to ensure the fire door has been tested with an aperture of the required size and location. Fire doors offering smoke control should not have threshold gaps exceeding 3 mm. However, such a small clearance is difficult to maintain with the varying floor levels. To combat this, man McGowan threshold seals can be incorporated into the door. From our EnviroSeal range, we offer the 420S and 1703 ACU concealed options, and the 1750 is the face fixed option. Not only do they provide the smoke control function, they have also been subjected to acoustic tests and can provide performance ratings of 43 decibels plus, depending of course on the door core used. The 420S and 1703 ACU seals have Warrington Fire third party certification, which demonstrates smoke leakage evidence and 100,000 operational cycles. To complement the performance of the threshold seals, effective perimeter seals are also required. ACS1 is typically fitted between the doorstop and frame and provides effective smoke leakage and acoustic performance. We also have the teardrop seal which is tested as a smoke rated buffer seal and is fixed to the doorstop to act on the face of the door. A recent addition to the range is the new tri-blade seal which can be used for sealing thresholds and meeting style applications. All three seals are available in a range of colours. And to complement the performance, again, ACS1 and the teardrop seals have Warrington Fire third party certification to support their use. At the heart of our range is the Pyrostrip PVC encapsulated fire seal. The seals are provided with either a palisol, which is a hydrated sodium silicate, or graphite intumescent core. Pyrostrip seals are typically rebated within the edge of fire doors or frames and provide the required level of fire resistance, either 30, 60, 90, or 120 minutes. The seals are available in a wide range of sizes from 10mm by 3mm up to 48mm by 6mm. When also required to provide smoke control, they can be supplied with either a nylon brush pile or a co-extruded twin rubber fin. All are available in a wide range of colours. The Pyrostrip range has both Warrington Fire third party certification for fire and smoke and features in many door core technical manuals. We asked industry experts and valued customers what questions they are being asked regarding intermescent technology within the architectural ironmongery industry. Obviously within the GAI as technical manager, I look after the technical helpline and that can be either by phone call or by email. Um, um, one of the questions that I get asked frequently with regards to intermescent uh, particularly in respect of architectural ironmongers, is 
should I, as an AI, be specifying the intumescent protection for items such as the hinge and the lock case and the concealed closer? So uh, I, I suppose I was just curious to see, as as manufacturers of these products, what your thoughts are. Yeah, thanks, Douglas, for the question. Most situations where hardware is fitted on a fardel will require some kind of intumescent protection. So it must be considered when looking at a schedule that includes fire doors. The detail of that protection will be held by the hardware manufacturer, or of course, could be specific to the fire door manufacturer's test elements. My advice would always be refer to fire test evidence as that will ensure total compliance. There will be detail that needs to be considered, such as material used, thickness of material and detail of kit. But this will all be listed in the fire test report to assist in the correct specification. This rule should be applied across any hardware specification when used on a fire door. We're, we're very often asked uh, by customers about intumescent uh, seals, you know, what, what intumescent seals are, uh, what they do, how they're fitted, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, one thing that's become very uh, apparent to us is that uh, there is a general belief in the industry that uh, an intumescent seal is an intumescent seal. And, and the only thing that really, uh, uh, the only differences really are, are the size and the color of the seal. And when I say the color of the seal, I'm not just talking about the, uh, the sort of PVC uh, outer covering, the actual intumescent material, because you tend to find a lot of people in the industry refer to the white seal or the black seal. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know it, it's it, these these seals are such a critical uh, component of a fire door. Uh, you know, I'm I'm just wondering how a company like Man McGowan would respond to that kind of question. Yeah, so hi Simon, um, thanks for your question. Uh, this is also a question we get asked a lot, and many people seem to specify or purchase intumescent seals based solely on the colour. To give some background, when used with fire rated doors, there are typically three intumescent types that will most likely be used. And these three types can be further divided into two categories. The first type, and the, certainly the one which has been around the longest, is Padisol, which is a hydrated sodium silicate, white in colour, and will be categorised as pressure generating, with a free expansion height of at least 15 millimetres. The expansion process starts around 100 degrees centigrade. The other pressure generating intumescent is graphite, which is black in colour and has a free expansion of 20 to 30 millimetres, with this starting around 180 degrees centigrade. So as well as the differing colour, you can also add reaction temperature and the amount of expansion as further variations, all of which can change the door's intended performance. And the most common reason we're given for wanting to switch intumescent seals is price and availability, with very little consideration given to performance or following the specification. We also frequently hear a graphite is a graphite. They're all the same, aren't they? Well, no, they're certainly not. Each manufacturer's graphite will most likely be one to two millimetres thick. But expansion rates and the ability to form a char and hold together once expanded can and will vary and often quite dramatically. So to further complicate things, the third type of intumescent is known as interdense, which is monoammonium phosphate and is supplied in white, black, red and brown. This is categorised as non-pressure generating and is commonly used around ironmongery positions as it produces a large volume of expansion with little pressure. If you confuse black interdens with graphite and then wrap it around a lock case, the result at 30, 60, 90 or 120 minutes could be very different and you may see the door core literally being pushed apart at this position. So going back, you can see that as well as colour, there are a number of other variations which should all be considered before switching seals. And to be honest with you, Simon, we certainly feel that intumescent seals are now regarded purely as a commodity product with more emphasis put on price and availability than following the test evidence and achieving the performance required. And at the end of the day, the fire rated door and all its components should be regarded as a life saving product and changing the tested specification is likely to change the expected fire performance of the door. Um, hopefully that will answer your question.